Hi, George here, and Minecraft has done it again. They have messed up my resource pack. This happens every single time they make a new version. We were working in version 120.4 for a long time, and then they switched over to 120.5, and then they just switched over here to 120.6. And whenever that happens, they mess up my resource pack. Let me just show you that real fast. There we go, right back there. That's supposed to be a giant play button. Haven't got the real one yet. I'm nowhere near that. I'm only at about 75,000 subs. I need 100,000 subs to get it. But I still like having it just as something to plan for. So to fix this thing, I'm going to have to do a little update to my resource pack to make this work again. It's an easy fix, and it's the first thing you should do whenever your pack stops working. Okay, switch over to the desktop, and let's see if we can get this back the way it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm back here at the title screen. I've also made changes in here. I have changes to the button colors as something which is brand new. I also have changed the image back there. It says Minecraft is something different. We can get all that back again. But since that's in a resource pack, let's go over here to Options, Resource Packs. And the problem is my default resource pack, which right now is not running, as you can see over here, right-hand side. And it's actually right over here, left-hand side, it says Incompatible. So what I need to do is to make this compatible now with this new version, and it's a real simple fix. So let's see how that's done. It's already been deactivated, so that's correct. Choose Done, Done Again. So the first thing is to make sure that you deactivate your pack, and then quit the game, and get back to the desktop. There we go. Now the first thing to check for is the pack format, and you can do that by going up here to Patch Notes, and look at the latest patch notes right here. It's Java Edition 120.6. And this doesn't list everything, so I have to back up here to this one. This just shows some bug fixes. So go in here, and this gives us the whole list of everything that's changed. Scroll down, and what we're looking for is the resource pack format number. And we'll find it down here where it's come down. Technical changes, there we go. And right there, resource pack version is now 32. If you're working with data packs, that version is now 41. That's also changed. But all I care about right now is just the resource pack, and that's 32. We can go ahead and fix that. Let's close this down. Back over to Installations and Latest Release. And click on that folder icon right there. Bring that up. Here's a folder with everything in it. Come down, and here's the resource packs right here. Notice that some of my packs are in zips. If you need to change the resource pack number in a zip file, what you have to do is you have to open the zip up, fix a pack, and then re-zip it again and put it back into the game. So you have to unzip, fix, rezip, put it back in the game. Now this is my main pack here. I don't zip the main pack up because I'm always changing it. This is just faster and easier. So I'll go inside of here. What you want to do is you want to change the pack.mc meta file right there. Let's just change that view, make it easier to see. Large icons, there we go, pack.mc meta. Now I like to always edit these things in Notepad++. It's a great little code editor and it's free, but it gives you some nice things like line numbering and text highlighting, things like that. It's very, very useful, and it's really good for editing these kinds of simple Java files that we have here inside of Minecraft. So I'll bring this up in Notepad++ right here, and there's the problem, pack format. We know that this is now format 32, so that's good. I'll choose Save, close that down. Now, if this was a zip file, I'd have to take all this stuff here, rezip it, and then upload it that way. Since mine is not a zip file, I don't have to do that. It's all set to go. It's back out of here. Latest release, go back into play. We now need to make sure that, that is active. And I may need to close it down and open it up a couple of times to get the title page working properly. Let's see if it will grab that for me or not. Okay, hasn't done it yet. So let's come down to options, resource packs. There's the pack. I've now fixed that. It's now correct. Click on that arrow, bring it over here, choose done. That should redo the pack. And there we go. My pack colors are back in again. This is my new coloration that I happen to like. Choose Done, and that looks a lot better. I have my custom panorama in the background. That's my base coming in over there, right-hand side. So custom panorama, here's my custom title. If you want to do any of this kind of stuff, changing the panorama, changing the title, changing the button colors, even changing the colors in here on the different buttons, I have videos on all of that. And I'll put links for all those videos in the description so you can easily get to that. Okay, let's so go ahead, we'll go into single player and my main world right here. Okay, we should now see the giant play button back again. Let's take a look. And there we go, giant play button. Okay, that's my inspiration to keep on making Minecraft videos, just trying to get this thing. Now right here, where it says presented to, there's nothing in there. I can't put that in. I haven't made 100,000 subscribers yet. If you wanna see me add my name onto that one and make this thing correct, then you need to subscribe to my channel. 
I'm at 75,000 subs right now. I need 100,000 to get that. If everybody who watches my videos would just subscribe, I'd have that in just a couple of days. Otherwise, it'll take me years to get there. So make sure you subscribe so you can get this thing correct. Okay, but there you go. So that's the first thing you should do if your pack suddenly stops working is to make sure your pack MC Metafile is up to date. And in most cases, that's going to fix it. If you like this video, if this helped you out at all, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe so you can finally get that play button accurate. And I'll see you next time.